Welcome friends to Motor Spins. I'm your girl Jen Barlow. This is the 2021 Porsche 911 Carrera 4S. So what you'll see in the front is some styling things. The first thing you're gonna see is a big old bug eyes. Oh yeah, you've got four distinct portions there shooting out light, kind of a stack design. So you see a little hints of old retro Porsches from the past. Another place you'll see that is in the front. It goes around and in the last iteration this was rounded. Now it's a throwback my friends. It's a retro party. It has been squared off again. Also like this scoop in the hood as well. This is also a throwback to earlier models. So let's pop the hood and talk about that performance. Here we go. What's under the hood? A whole lot of nothing. We've got the engine in the rear, so all you're gonna get up here is some grocery space, my friends. This is not gonna do a whole lot. This is kind of like one of those soaking tubs. Basically, it fits one gen, not very comfortably. So 20 inch wheels in the front, 21 in the back. These are the RS Spider. They look so nice very spider web-esque fully ventilated two-piece rotors as well helping dissipate some of that heat in terms of the side mirrors this is where they put their turn signals but again porsche has decided to put it up there in the reflector so it's just a nice little streak of black looking cool looking fresh also one of the parts that i love is the tail light bar that goes all the way across. This is all the rage in the automotive world right now. The other thing that's really interesting, we talk about lights, this third brake light here. This is actually your third brake light, which is rare to see in a vertical form. I do want to point out the oval exhaust. We do have the sport exhaust. We know that because it's oval. This is something so simple and so minor, but for some reason I absolutely love it. Okay, popping the hood, or shall I say lid? I don't know what this is, but here's the thing. We are working with a twin turbocharged three cylinder inline six. It's been bumped up, it's been redesigned a little bit, but one thing you're getting more of, horsepower. 443 horsepower. That is up from previous years, previous models. You also have 390 pound feet of torque. That's gonna get you a little launch, a little rocket, a little slingshot, zero to 60 in 3.2 seconds. But hey, listen, top speed, 188 miles per hour. So blazing fast, power to all four wheels, completely full bodied, well balanced, how balanced. Let's go inside, take it for a little spin, see what she can do. Okay, let's talk about the interior very Yeah, quickly. let's do that. Where do you have uh, some seat controls here for like your ventilation heating? You have uh, some sunroof controls here course got the glorious manual gearbox because that is uh, a big special feature of this one in particular obviously Porsche is very big on optioning whatever you really want and so this has the full leather everything essentially it gives you upper layer leather that's stitched uh, mid-tier and lower tier if this were any other year what would this car cost so as currently spec this is around hundred and fifty thousand dollars which is high but it's fair because this is a high spec version of a 4s which is the top under GTS and of course the turbo models but currently speaking at this day and age right now this is going for two hundred and forty nine thousand dollars two hundred and forty nine thousand dollars holy cow so you have your uh, little MMI controller here where you can control uh, stuff on the screen. So if you don't want to do touchscreen stuff, you can use this. Uh, we'll go ahead and uh, go into reverse because I want to show this. So you get a backup camera. There is no 360 camera because again, weight control and all that stuff. But you don't really need a 360 camera because the car is so easy to place. It's a short chassis and so I don't really ever need it. Okay, well, let's call 911 and go for a little test let's drive. Let's do it. Keep the camera steady. <laughs> oh, it's a wild one. <laughs> There's a lot of power here. So, okay. So first impressions driving this, it, it's very springy on, on the clutch. So you have to be really careful with your shifting. You can't be too hot footed on it. You have to really get that balance down. But um, once you do, you get a seamless transition between power and the, and the gears. So it's really, really, really fun to drive. And also this shifter, it's wonderful. It's so it? notchy. Oh, it's just perfect. Uh, but 
Auto blip is very nice. Porsches have been doing it for a while now. It's, uh, you know, I guess if you have the muscle memory to auto, uh, to, to, you know, rev match your downshifts and stuff like that, I guess it's, uh, might not be needed, but uh, I'll be honest with you. If you're looking to improve your performance, auto blip is a great addition because it yeah. gives you that perfect blip into the, into the rev range from downshifting and yeah. I like on this that there is a service setting you can see, I mean, obviously this is a brand new car, but you can see uh, how and where it's been serviced automatically wow. programmed into the car. That's cool. I mean, that's a pretty cool thing to have, especially for resale, to know what the previous owners took, yeah. where they took it, what they did to the car, so that way they're not lying to you. And this is electronic oh, yeah. steering and I'm used to hydraulic. Perfect yeah. steering, it's perfectly weighted. It's just lovely. Like this experience has just been such a good day. Yeah, a lot of the features on this are electrical now, not mechanically. Like the doors even, you they're not mechanical open, they're electrical open. Yep. So, a lot of upgrades, we love it. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10.